How's it going guys? We're back out here. Gotta break this thing down. Uh, as you see I'm labeling things. The left side, right side. To some guys they don't understand why you do that. Uh, not all car manufacturers, but AMC and obviously International, there is a different spring for your left side and your right side in the front of your car. If you look it up in this, this particular car here, I can look it up in the um, service manual. The spring on the left side of the car and the spring on the right side of the car have two different spring rates to compensate for the driver. So I know these two springs, there was a left and a right when I pulled them off. Because when I got this axle, they were still on the axle. It had the frame rails hooked to it. So I labeled them then, and they are different. They're definitely different. So I've seen springs, leaf springs, where the bottom of the leaf spring has a groove cut in the leaves to weaken one side or to make the spring rate less than the other side. So I want to leave them in the same order. I'm taking them off. So that's why I've been labeling everything. The rotors I have labeled because the pads are made it to those rotors. And that's about it. So right now we're going to pop each spring off. And I want to pop off the uh, steering arm. That's probably about it. Here's one more thing, uh, more door 53 mentioned it in so many words, uh, he was talking about front and rear uh, shackles, I have the perches in the front, sh uh, I have the perches in the front shackles in the back and the reason you do that is when you hit a bump it allows the front end to go up and back with the motion of the car, you do it the other way, the front end is actually fighting the bump. Okay, so you actually get a smoother ride in the back. This system originally had the shackles on the front. So when I put it in the car, I had to uh, adjust my caster. Now when you buy a tube front end from like Speedway, you're basically gonna weld it to where you need it. So you're gonna bolt everything in the way you put the springs in the car. You're gonna adjust your cast and then weld the plates and then it's rigid. Okay, this particular one, obviously I don't have that adjustment, so here are the wedges in here. It's a 9 degree wedge. I don't remember what I set the cast to to, I remember looking it up for the international front end, and I remember bringing it to the far end of it. So that I remember. So, and that was done on purpose. That actually gives you more stability. But I didn't want to be, let me put it this way, it was so far out, that if anybody's ever seen an old dragster, when they cut the wheel, the wheels flop left to right instead of turn. They actually go and then they flop. That's the way the front end was on this car when I when I first put it in, knowing I was going to be doing the adjustment, but that's the way it, it sat. So, this is almost out. It's going to take a little bit off. We'll get this off. Okay, springs are gone. You can see all the holes we got. Some of those are the original holes. There, there. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But uh, I'm not worried about the ones you don't see. I'm only going to fill in one, two, three, because this is for my steering stabilizer, which is from an 85 Mitsu. Got to have a little Mitsu in here. Put my springs on the right side of the car where they belong. Behind the lift pole, just when I fold it, I don't take my toes out. I've been through that already with this. So basically, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm just going to break down the last couple of bolts. Then we'll clean this, paint accordingly, and put it back together. That's it. Not that big of a deal. This I'm going to bring to work tomorrow. I want to round it over and get it done. So this piece will be done. So. There you go, there's some old style. Got anything stuck to it. It's ball and socket. You got the little, you have a cup on either side, a spring and a little tensioner there and you put the card pin in. Those things have absolutely no play in them.
that's it. It's broken down. That's what we got. Gotta repaint these. So I was lucky this uh these hubs have tapered roller bearings. Not ball bearings, so I would have had to convert it. So and the kingpins are nice and tight. So that's it, it's broken down, everything's off.